The best way to learn the guitar is by playing songs, and these three songs are great for beginners. They sound amazing, they're fun to play, and learning them will help you play hundreds of more songs. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. And we're excited to get started on these great song lessons. So I get questions from members all the time asking, you know, what are some good first songs to learn when starting out playing the guitar that will sound good and that I can play? <laughs> so I think there's many of them. In this lesson, I'm going to focus on three. Uh, Vicky's going to leave links in the description below for all three of these songs, like the full-blown lessons. In this lesson, we're going to kind of touch on them and why they're great songs to learn. Uh, first up, we have Wagon Wheel, uh, the Darius Rucker version. Amazing song. Um, it wasn't his originally. It's been covered by many people, but his is very well known. And I like this one a lot. The, uh, you know, four chords in this song. you got a G. You've got a D. A C. An E minor. I uh, will have to use a capo on your second fret, which is another reason I like this song for beginners. It helps them see what the capo can do. And by using this very simple tool, some people think it's cheating. I think it's, uh, if it sounds good, it is good. I say that all the time. So a capo on your second fret to play along with the record with this one. The, uh, the reasons I like Wagon Wheel so much, there's a lot. The four chords that we've talked about are going to be used in so many other songs, uh, hundreds of thousands of songs for these open chords, cowboy chords, whatever you want to call it. A great place to start uh, to check out another lesson that's going to talk about these four chords and how you can get very far with them by just using two fingers to change them around. You can check out that link. Uh, we'll leave it in a comment below for you. But the Wagon Wheel version, or the Darius Rucker version, rather. There's uh, another reason I like this is the strum pattern. So common. Sounds so good with many, many songs. You have a bass down, up, down, up. So you have a G to D to E minor to C. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. And it tells me. lifting song. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, you it's cannot, fun. you can't play this song and people not smile and want to sing and kind of groove to it. So, another reason. Lots and lots of reasons here for this one. So, a little wagon wheel, Darius Rucker version. Next up, we have a song from one of my all-time favorite bands, The Eagles. We've got a little peaceful, easy feeling. I like this one a lot for several reasons. Uh, capo on the second fret again, so you can easily transition from doing a little wagon wheel to a little peaceful, easy feeling. It's got some chords shared here. There is a G in this one. There's a D in it. I like this one because of a couple of reasons. The uh, strum pattern and just the intro. I mean, it's a D chord, but by just adding your pinky down on the third string, uh, sorry, first string, third fret, you get a D sus four. So I like this one because it shows you that just changing one little thing has a big impact. I also like it, the, um, let's see. I like the G or D and G against your G so brown. Got this A7. I love that chord. Great for beginners because it's an open chord. It makes it a little bluesy. So it moves from D to G, back and forth. And then it incorporates that A7. And later on in the chorus, there's the uh, easeful, easy D. And 
and I, G, let you, E minor to A7. And the strum pattern on this one is also really common, very useful in a lot of songs. Down, down, up, up, down, up. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Who knew that two chords could be so, so much fun and sound yeah. so good? It's a happy song. Yeah, it's a good one. And for the third song, we're going to be taking the capo off our guitar and not using it. This is a song by Boston, More Than a Feeling, one of my all-time favorites. One of the first songs my guitar teacher taught me, and I'm telling you guys, I was over the moon for this one. I just thought, oh my gosh. So good on that melody. I love this one for beginners. Well, I love this one for beginners and uh, veterans alike. So for this one, I like it because you begin to pick some individual notes, individual strings to play those notes, which helps with a lot of things. It helps you with your dexterity. It helps you with your with melody, timing. That opening look is just so good. And look, D's and G's, man. You can get a lot, a lot done with these op open chords and sound great with them. And this one also has the uh, You have that chorus where you, uh, it's a great mix. You mix in the individual notes along with strumming some chords. And again, we'll leave the link in the description below for the full blown lesson, more than a feeling, top notch. These three great songs have some important chords. You've got some uh, practice with a capo, some individual picking and strum patterns that will be able to help you in so many songs. So enjoy those. For some more amazing songs on the acoustic guitar that you can learn, check out this lesson here. And until we see you guys next, remember you're never too old to learn. And Vicki and Maggie and I, thank you so much for your views and your support here on YouTube. We look forward to seeing you really soon. Mm -hmm.